Okie doke. Part two of the propane port. Whoa, got some some airflow there, but uh so here we go. I got my ITC 100 ceramic coating it. Just a little document paper where I got it, okay. Best best place to get it, definitely eBay. Definitely eBay. So let's go and take a quick walk. And we'll go take a quick look at the forge. And then we'll uh We'll, we'll we'll bust it out of this area and go and put it in the uh, put it out there so we can coat her up and vacuum her and we'll coat her. See my burner. I'll talk more about that in a sec. But back to the coating. Oh, damn, there goes a paint. Okay, well, so uh, right. If you're watching this video, you probably know a little bit about forges and in this case, blacksmithing and propane forges. So what I've got here is a um, ITC 100, like I said before, it's a ceramic coating. It reflects about 98% of U of um, ultra, not ultra, infrared light. It increases the efficiency by about 30% of this forge. And it, um, uh, I forget the, the total number, $50, $20 shipping to Hawaii. And that's priority mail with the Postal Service, U.S. Postal Service. Came in like three days. And I mean, it looks great. I opened it up, looks good inside. And uh, this is one pint, so I'm gonna mix it with a cup of water. And then uh, I'm gonna coat the inside of my, my forge with it right now. And uh, I'll, I'll take you through the process because uh, it's not a lot of videos on YouTube of people actually mixing and coating. And um, I, like to, I like to always see someone do something before I do it. Okay, so uh, yeah, there we go. We got all the stuff we're gonna need. I'm pretty sure. So let's go over what we're doing here. You can see I've I've, I've fired it up once. See how hot it gets around here, because there's not a lot of there's not a lot of wool up there. But um, take a look in there. There it is. It's got uh, two inches of kale. Oh, not kale. Super wool. I think it's the next step up. Cost me a freaking break the bank with that shit. But uh. See how much garbage there is in here. So what we gotta do, if you get it from the guy on eBay, um, directions, prepare surface. Remove all debris, loose particles, dust, this and that. And it basically says, you know, blah, 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 vacuum. So, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this shot because I don't have my tripod, but, um, you guys know what it looks like when someone vacuums, so I'm going to take that vacuum. Here's a before shot. You can see all the garbage in there, and then we'll vacuum. Before we do so, let me just show you what I did to the forge, right? So we've got we've got one layer, one inch layer of the super wool lining around the whole thing and under the fire brick. And then we've got another layer inside and around the edges for another one inch. So we've got two inches, which is good enough. And then I've got a. Uh, what is this, one inch? One and a half, maybe? Ah, don't remember. I can't tell very well, but um, it's a one inch piece. I welded it on, you grind that galvanized garbage off, you weld it on, drill and tap a 5 16 hole in, and boom, there she blows. So that's my, uh, my holder. So let's coat this thing, and then when we're done coating it, we'll move on to the burner, which has to be fixed. Okie doke. Be right back. Gonna do the vacuuming. Ta-da! There we go. All clean. So now, stage two. Mix the material. I've got one pint. I've got a two pint holder. Quart size. So let's, uh, let's mix it here. I'll try to get a shot. A continuous shot so you can see what kind of looks like. But I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do it, so. Something like this, maybe? I guess. Right 
there, boys. Uh, that's kind of what it looks like. Let's just pour that bread off my pants. That's what it looks like. It's just pasty stuff. So. It kind of... It kind of slides out like a piece of... Friggin' uh... Spam. So... That's what we were getting here when we just take it out. So then let's um, we'll get uh, that thing filled up with water, pour it in there, and we'll mix that shit. There we go. Okay. It's kind of like this thick material here. I do this with one hand, you guys. So we're just we're just mashing this up right now, trying to get it all combined here. So uh, you can see how it is. I mean, it's got like yeah. So I'm gonna pause this, and then I'll bring you back when we're uh, when we're when we're uh, when we're mixed. Okay. So here it is. There's a consistency one. This is like a uh, kind of a thick. And it's not super thick. It's kind of that's what it is right there. Okay, the end of that. I find I was using this difficult. You break it up with this. Break up the big chunk with this. Break it all up. And get yourself one of those. Take that and mix that shit. It mixes up in like 10 seconds. I'll give you, I'll give you a quick demo with one hand here. So, just, I think we got to do a little more. So, you just drop that right in. like that and now it's pretty well uh, pretty well go there got this nice texture here so I find that works well so now we'll move on to painting in just a second here okie doke radio still on 105.9 here we are so I, I did clean up here I only used about half so this is pretty much filled to the top and um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't say it but I'm pretty sure that uh, that you can um, you can store it back in an airtight container. It's kind of like clay, I think. It's a ceramic coating, so I'm thinking like it just dries out. You add more water, so airtight spot is what I'm thinking is a good place. Bad there, we had a guest appearance from someone who didn't want to be filmed. Back to what I was saying, right? I was saying about this, right? So you let it dry overnight, and like I was saying, I think it's it's all ceramic. I'm pretty sure there's not many big chemicals, and I'm pretty sure you put it in an airtight container. It'll stay moist for longer. Otherwise, it dries and then you add water, I think. I just think. So what I'm going to do is, I've got this first coat on here. The initial coater. And as you can see, man, I mean, it's nice. Looks good. Looks good. So, that's that. We're going we're gonna to get this stuff off the table here. Leave that, all this other stuff's going, and then we're going to work on the burner. Let's do that.